para el día de la fecha. Para un hombre derivado de esos principios, no hombre de frente a nada. Bueno, y así lo veo lo very good strength out of this seminar hall. Out of four, five hundred students, I can see only hundred and twenty sitting out here. Well, to start with, good evening to all my respected delegates and Professor Arty, I can see. So, and hi. So, a special hi to all the young talents like me here. And personal make up hi to the back seaters, which I can see only seven to ten. The best part in the matter, actually. Hope you people are relaxing out there. <laughs> and apart from a joke, I'm very thankful to Dr. Shukla and Mr. Mukundan for an invite, and it's an honor to present my views, experiences, and future industry expectation from young managers in front of you all today at this forum. I've been informed that to speak for only five ten minutes about your experiences, but to inform you openly that I'm not working with advertisement company where imagination pays you in billions for two minutes. My story with MIT is a bit long. I started my career way back in 2000 by joining mechanical engineering in Rurki. After my first semester, I realized this is not for me. I need exposure and better environment to build up myself. Then I came to MIT in February 2001. As a student of the SCIT, I have been awarded as a student as the best student, best in German, best in behavioral science for the first time in my life, which was a bit surprising for me. And received cash of 25,000, which was very motivating. After all, it's funny with money in the end, right? While studying in MIT, I started working, and my first job was with Aiken. It's such a smart salary of 3,700 rupees per month. Really smart, isn't it? <laughs> there I worked for four months and got over with my graduation, as well along with the same. Then I started working with HP in the technical service department after my grad and got over with two months. So you can see I never been stable till then. Then my third and last job in services was with Zansa, UK based software solution company based in Noida, where I worked for another two months in their technical services desk as senior executive and was getting paid 14,000 by then. After that I got selected to MIT Business School for MBA General which was very exciting at that time and a very tough and rich experience to realize, I must say. I did my internship at a steel plant based in Ghaziabad, where I tried to utilize theories I have been taught in MBA first year. But truly speaking, except organization behavior, there was nothing I was able to use there. After I got over with my MBA in 2006, I started working in that same company where I did my internship and today I have been positioned as group managing director of the group. How I position myself as director, that is a different story upon which one smart brain can even write a case study according to you. I know it sounds surprising, but it has taught me how to face people. Many people have said that I am too young to be MD of a company at this age when I have got so many years left in to perform. But I feel one can achieve it, then one can deserve credit for it. So don't confuse age with accomplishment. Whether you are 21 or 40, as long as you can make it, go for it. As a general rule, the most successful man in life is the man who has the best information. In span of 10 years of my career by now, in steel, in fashion, entertainment and hospitality sector, I came across plenty of brilliant people who never went the distance because others were more passionate, worked harder and had a laser focus. So request all young MBA like me to wake up and catch the supersonic Chinese bullet train before you find yourself standing at Indian platform under guidance of brilliant ex-ministers like Mr. Lavia and selling just nut crackers. Before I end up this long conversation, conversation, sorry, which might have bored you, yes, I'm sure, I would like to convey what industry according to my experiences will always be looking from young managers actually. That is Leadership with positive approach, never say never. So now I'll take a mic and just come in between you guys. I'll say I was like you. You work hard, definitely I'm sure that's why you're here. You do what you are told 
and what does life serve you? A shake sandwich with a side order of shake. You deserve better. Every, per every person in this country is either a doer or a donter. A doer or a donter. And if I can get you learn one thing today, one take home point, it would be this. Don't be a donter. Always be a doer. During leadership anywhere, no matter it's your personal life or professional ways. Change and complexity during leadership can occur any time. Without telling you just like rupee fall these days, because we are living in political oriented country. Where corruption is really very very less, isn't it guys? Yes? The corruption is less in our country? Yeah. Yes? Why not? Why not? So shouted like Modi. Industrial competition is a free market, is what we build this country. So my point is always be a duo. I'll give you an example. A man said, I had a wife and two beautiful daughters. A perfect partner. Thank God I left her. Now I am with seven honeys, of which I can choose from. You know well, it's simple. I don't know why God gave us ten fingers. Because we are only gonna need three. Get a goal, get a plan, and get up off your chair. I can't use Three aspects here officially, sorry. Please raise hands who want to be a leader in future. Everybody cannot be. Why are you, why are you dropping your hands? Be confident. Alright, let's pick up the last venture, the female at the back. Can you please stand up? Oh, you're not the last venture. There's one more female at your back. So tell me, which one you are? Doer or don't do? Is that a question? What is this? A Valentine's Day for you? <laughs> Say it like you want to hunt it. Shout out. When you want to do something, when you want to achieve something, you have to be very shouted in this industry. So you want to be a doer or a don't doer. Shout it. Everybody in this seminar, outside meeting, everybody should hear it. I want to be a doer. Now, that's the voice like of Mr. Modi at Madison Square Garden, New York. In the end, I would just say, you have to make some concessions for change, betterment under your leadership at work. A proactive approach to streamline the production or service will create a win-win situation in your career. One thing which no one can take away from you is education and knowledge. But always remember, by being a doer, don't think of leaving your partner in future. As it was just an example to motivate your subordinates and never cheat anyone in personal and professional life ever. Great you guys, all of you. Keeping patience to listen. Have a great day.